Every year, hundreds of thousands of students participate in Campus Movie Fest. This is their story. Hey, hi, my name is Kevin Tran. Um, I'm a film major, I'm also a comm minor. Uh, I am um, in my fifth year, and then technically my last year. Uh, I can do the Rubik's Cube, and my fastest time was 29 seconds. I'm Sienna Acevedo, I am a senior here at Cal State Long Beach and a film production major. I am Ruby Morales, I am the director and producer of A Little Something. This year I did a horror movie parody, and so this one is called Invasion of the Jimmies, and what it is is basically a zombie movie parody. My film is about a young stuffed pig who is unable to move, but somehow finds a way to fall in love with a squirrel. And I'm doing this film Rodriguez style. Basically what he does is what, he directs his movie, he writes his movies, he does the music for his movies, he edits his movies, sometimes he'll do his own camera work. So, so get this everyone, I was an extra and first AD on his film. You won't believe how many times I had it drop dead on the floor, get a fake hit, by the main characters, and it was like left and right and do over, do over. Oh my goodness, that Kevin Tran. Oh, he thinks with his big cast and like all his zombies and special effects, he can win. He's like a robot. He doesn't have emotions. She didn't stand a chance. Like, she, Ruby, she came in earlier today, and her whole project was deleted. It was wonderful. Everything went exactly as planned. Just go next to the pig. Eat the bread. No, 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 don't eat the stupid peanut. Eat the bread. I swear to God, I'm going to kill this squirrel. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. And, you know, I don't even care. I don't even need it for my movie. If I have a dead body, I can just use it and put it next to the dang pig. And it'll do exactly what I want it to do. Look, I worked on Sienna's movie. And what happened was the call time, or basically the shoot was going to happen from 6 to 12. And I was like, okay, that works. I, it ends at 12, I get home at around 12.30, get some sleep, and get ready for my film shoot because it was at 8.30 in the morning. But for some reason, Sienna went all the way to 5 in the morning. So I didn't get home till like 5.30, slept only like an hour and a half, and then I had to get ready for my shoot. And then Sienna, she's so happy all the time. I bet you she wasn't happy to me that movie. Mm -mm. She was probably like half mad or something. And like, she, you know what? She probably abused Mark while making it. Yeah, you know, I've seen it. She probably like smacked him around until he gave her exactly what she wanted. I honestly say that there were definitely a few hiccups here and there. I managed to get a script and my own version of a shot list all together about, I'd say, few hours before the shoot happened. And so, I don't know what everyone's complaining about, 10 hours of a production, production time ain't too bad, right? It goes by within a blink of an eye. You know, they're really great people. You know, I just can't get enough of them. I'm glad that I'm friends with a couple of them. It's a bit challenging against me trying to do something new, but at the same time, my content-wise, it was still kind of the same. And um, it's kind of cool because people enjoyed it. They enjoyed the, the story and they enjoyed having fun on set and um, overall it was fun it was a bit stressful being that I'm using actual real filmmaking technique instead of just shooting like a YouTube video. This is my third year going to Campus Movie Fest and so I've gotten a taste definitely as an actress and as co-director for the past couple of years on you know what or how to go about things. And I feel that with each year, um, I become a better filmmaker. I mean, I'm still a little bit green at a few things, but with each year as I get better, um, I think my creativity is, has increased as well, too.